Well, it's 10 o'clock. You're watching SABC News. As we remember this legal giant who dedicated his life for fighting for the human rights of uh, the man who didn't have the power to fight for himself, advocate George Bezos. We have two of our colleagues. Uh, Abongile is in Parktown at the home of advocate George Bezos and we'll go to Abongile in a moment. But let's start first with Sam Gelo who's at the Greek Orthodox Church just outside the church where the funeral service is currently underway. Sam Gelo, what can you tell us? Well, Desiree, uh, the private uh, service is currently underway now. I'm just going to step out of shot and ask my colleague uh, Tabi Sorapakwana just to show you that uh, at the Greek Orthodox Church, uh, right there where our visuals are showing uh, our viewers right now is the private service currently taking place. A number of dignitaries such as uh, the, 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 the chairperson and the CEO of uh, the Nelson Mandela Foundation, Silo Hatang, are currently there. Former President uh, Khalema Mutlante is amongst the mourners and also uh, President Sur Ramaphosa, the commander in chief of the armed forces, he's also there and he will later on deliver the eulogy once uh, the government uh, level one uh, funeral service uh, gets uh, underway, which was uh, essentially given to uh, this uh, human rights uh, uh, lawyer, activist, uh, George, uh, advocate George Bezos by President Sur Ramaphosa as it currently stands. Uh, there will be this private service that's currently taking place. Once that is done, the remains of advocate George Bezos will then bro be brought forth uh, towards the entrance of uh, this uh, Greek Orthodox Church where his remains will be uh, draped with a South African uh, flag and the SANDF will then take over and then they will then proceed along this red carpet here at Desiree and will then be making their way into as let me just suppose that as my colleague Tabi Sorapakwan also shows you visuals of the Minister of uh, International Relations and Cooperation Naledi Pando whom we may try uh, to get a few words from Minister Minister Pando Minister Pando may we just have a word with you Minister I'm trying to just two minutes Minister please Minister please I'm trying to uh, Minister Pando the death of advocate George Bezos comes at a time when the nation has been grappling with certain issues of uh, COVID-19, the human rights violations in our neighboring country, Zimbabwe. What would the great advocate Bezos say when it comes to the issues that are plaguing our neighbors in Zimbabwe? Well, I think uh, advocate uh, George Bezos was a person who was deeply committed to everybody enjoying access to justice, to their human rights uh, being observed and to being uh, deserving of a government that puts its people first. Thank you very much, Minister Pando. There was Minister Pando. We did uh, steal her there as she was being escorted in our line of uh, which we were going to say and uh, that uh, they will be escorted into the Hellenic Cultural Centre where the official government uh, funeral will take place. Uh, we also hear that uh, the likes of the Minister of uh, the uh, Deputy Minister of State Security, Zizi Gotwa, will also be making their way here. We also do know that the Minister in the Presidency, Jackson Mtemp, has also arrived and is within the private uh, uh, service that's currently taking place right now and uh, the president will be delivering the eulogy later on uh, today once uh, the private uh, service of the family is done. Back to you Desiree. Samkele, thank you so much. Let's now uh, cross over to our colleague Abongile Dumago. Abongile, you at the homestead. Have you been able to gather some information about the rituals and ways, the Greek way of, uh, of bidding farewell to a loved one? What have you heard from the family this morning? Good morning, Desiree. As you are alluding to your introduction, we are actually live at the homestead of the late advocate George Bezos. This is where he spent his last minutes of his life, die, die, passing on here, peacefully surrounded by his family. We've just arrived here a few minutes ago. What we've witnessed is this peace and quiet that continues to, to prevail here in this part of Johannesburg, which is where he actually resided. A sign that this really was a gallant fighter 
who, who was not that vocal when it comes to raising up his, uh, you know, concerns on what was happening during the apartheid South Africa. But what he did in terms of action spoke wonders in as far as what actually came end, ending up coming out to be in South Africa. And of course, as Samkele Masego, my colleague, has been saying that there's a private ceremony that is taking place, uh, which actually will be preceded by the, 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 the funeral service, which will take place around 11 o'clock, where the president will deliver the eulogy. But right around here, we can actually see, you know, neighbors walking up the streets peacefully, of course, looking at us, wondering what's going on. Some of them asking if we, go, we are sort of going to be broadcasting this live, what, which channel must they watch and things like those. But from what I'm hearing and what I'm gathering on the ground, this man we're talking about here, Uthad advocate George Bezos, was actually a typical, normal, you know, neighbor to, to these residents that we saw walking up and down the streets who of course are too shy to speak to us on the camera describing him as somebody that they, they always relied on in terms of wisdom or on what should be happening in this neighborhood where he resided so basically at the moment peace and quiet doors closed at the house of the late advocate george bezos as of course all the proceedings are taking place where samgele was coming to you live from just to witness uh, what's been happening since, since he passed on, be building up to what we see. It's been quite a peaceful seven days since he passed on, which really signals that he was really quite a, a peaceful man. He'll be, of course, laid to rest at the Heroes Acre at the West Park Cemetery after the funeral service that will take place, where President Cyril Ramaphosa will deliver a eulogy. We also understand that his wife, Arith, died in 2017, something that also was quite profound when, you know, the, during those days when he lost his wife. But of course, he stood firm and continued to be that gallant fighter who actually survived a few years later, as we are now saying farewell to, to Dada George Bezos. Abongile, that session at the Heroes Acre, are you able to give us some sort of detail about what to expect uh, when uh, that part of uh, the funeral service comes through? We understand that after the, the wrap of what's going to be happening at the Greek Orthodox where the funeral service is going to take place, the procession will leave for the West Park Cemetery at around, tw at around 12 o'clock. We understand that the, pro the, the proceeding will already be making their way to the, to the West Park Cemetery. This is where uh, the, official, uh, the, official, uh, the officials from the SANDF, since this is a, a Category 1 state funeral awarded to the giant by the President, Cyril Ramaphosa will be taking place. So we understand that the procession will will actually make its way to West Park Cemetery. This is where um, the, 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 the SANTF personnel will be, you know, conducting the service. And, and of course, the, the, the priest from, from the SANTF actually presiding over those pro, pro, uh, proceedings. That, that's actually where, you know, some of these, uh, you know, uh, freedom fighters, including the recent uh, 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 burial of Utatu Endrum Langen and, of course, the recent burial of Utatu Ungadimeng, he will be actually laid to rest in the same area as them. So, basically, we expect something that would be similar to what was happening in the past couple of weeks when we had, be, be we had been bidding farewell those, you know, heroes and, and, and freedom fighters. So, basically, a family is expected to gather there and then the proceedings will take place where the burial will actually, you know, uh, unfold. And, of course, we will be bringing you uh, that, cover, that, that part of the funeral live here on SABC News. Thank you so much to my colleagues Abongile Dumako and Samkele Maseko there who will continue to update us about this big event of the day, the burial, the funeral service and then burial of advocate George Bezos. We're asking you our question of the day. How do you remember uh, this uh, big colossal giant, this human rights lawyer, one of the leading lights in the fight against apartheid advocate George Bezos? You can send us your thoughts at the agenda underscore SABC. Let's take a break for now.